in this video. Join me in this upstairs scabby office as I update you on what's been happening over the past two to three weeks in an AM Details update blog. Hey there guys, I'm Alan and welcome to AM Details. We bring you car care and detailing videos every week, or at least we try. Subscribe and smash the bell so you get a notification every time we drop a video. So here it is. I am be bringing you content and I'm sorry this video will explain what's been going on but basically yeah I've been flat out there hasn't really been much time for me to put the extra time into piecing all these vlog elements together when I shoot a vlog normally as you know I just shoot it raw as it goes and smash it together and what you get is what you see but it's been a tough two or three weeks piecing together the final stages of what has been this three to four year project of providing training to you right there thank you so much for waiting on that training so I panicked I stressed and I fumbled to get it done but we got it done and the feedback has been incredible so far so the past two to three weeks I did film and I'm gonna be sat here talking to you right now taking you through the next I think it's nearly 17 to 19 minutes of what we've been up to over the past two weeks what's coming up I hope you enjoy good morning Tuesday the 5th of March and this week we have a Another scooby -in. That's right, this week is actually an admin week, but to help this customer out, they're going away. So we've got this car in for the week. It's in for our ceramic top-up service, which is the ceramic maintenance detail. Plus, this little bad boy is gonna get a quick buzzing over with white on white and in two coats of EXO. It's inside, which means Tash has already cleaned it. Let's go! First pause right at the start of the vlog. I know, I'm looking through this footage. I'm not entirely sure why, but we never got any wash stuff. We just seem to get the first stuff with the dirt showing you how well the car is used. So what's gonna happen now is we're gonna dive straight into when I'm showing you Tasha machining the car. Before we see Tash sorting out the paintwork on this one, look at these, these are nice, right? They are from the Volkswagen camper we had in a couple of weeks ago. These are the aftermarket wheels for this. So we're also gonna get these bad boys coated up this week and get them back to go north campers. Thursday, the 7th of March. TV's on the wall, ready for us doing presentations. Scooby is finished. Well done, Tash, it's looking sweet with its double X. So if we finished it already, you've got the B-roll, you'll have seen that, so I hope you enjoyed it. If not, then I'll play it in two. But this morning, me and Ian have got to go and take this stuff over to the other unit, because it's a new delivery driver and he doesn't know we have two. Plus, we've got to get started on the Audi that's outside. Throw this over my shoulder. 
follow that man. Time is now half 12. I've literally collated all the vlog together and it's currently rendering out. Whoosh, the Audi is inside. Tasha's doing the drying process. Thank you very much, Tasha. Eon's prepping a couple of bonnets outside for the training day. And now you're about to see us tackle, I wonder if you can just see them, these here. Random deep scratches in the bonnet. There's another one that comes across here. Yew! Time for us to tackle those after lunch. done and well it's still in there but I think that makes that look a whole lot better and you guys can't really see it in this shot can we no it is there just just so that'll do us Tasha's now going around doing all the finishing, finishing, finishing touches Tasha the finishing touches and then we'll get detailer over this one and it's good to be dropped back off Okay, more updates in the update vlog. I've searched all my files, asked the team, and we're 99% sure we filmed it, but we cannot find the finished B-roll of the Scooby. Oh, you can see it in the background of the Audi stuff, though, looking so sweet. And the customer was delighted picking that one up after its ceramic maintenance. So, Alan, you're only about four or five minutes into this vlog. What are you going to fill the rest of it with? Another week. So the next week coming up, we had training on the Monday with a good friend of AM Details, Matt Eager. He comes up to hang out with us. I'll update you on that in a little bit. We then have a Z4 come in on the Wednesday. I'll see what file footage I can find on that. And then the big thing, the whole reason the vlogs have been a little bit relaxed. I know, I'm sorry. My hair is falling out. I know, I'm sorry. Rupes and IDA training at the tail end of this week. Let's update you. Well, I'm going through the files and the only thing I filmed on th that day was this, which is a little tiny clip showing of the machine passion session. 
and what happens when a pad stalls. So why was that? Well, Matt turned up a little bit late. The absolute hero was actually up in Scotland on a family trip and he decided to come and spend a day with us. So he had to drive up the morning off. I think he must have got here in the end about 10, half 10 on that day. So we pretty much dived straight into it to give Matt as much information and tips and tricks and advice as we could. And because it was quite one-to-one, -one, I never really picked up the G7X and for that, I'm sorry, but I did film an element where I was trying to teach Matt about keeping your dual action polishers back in plate rotating. And he was finding it difficult to see what was going on. So for me, a big tip I have for everyone is, look at the polish. The polish tells you a story. So I took this tiny little clip, I'll play it now, and it should show you hopefully that you see the machine patch going and doing its normal pass session and then halfway down, there'll be this little section where it kind of goes And that right there is the design that you'll see in machine polish and polish when your back and plate is stalled. So not only can you audibly hear a stall, see a stall, but then your polish will also tell the story as well. Now don't be too worried. If you have a stall, the Rupes long throw or any other long throw polisher, 15 to 21, the work done from the oscillation is still gonna generate some cut. It's of course not the most efficient thing in the world, but don't freak out about it too much, but it is ideal to stop it if we can. And then we cut into the Tuesday where Matt left us a couple of gifts. I did do some filming, so we'll, um, yeah, let's let's jump straight to that and tell the story. Good morning. It's Tuesday, the 12th of March, and we're just having a little meeting. Why is it Tuesday? Well, yesterday I had a fantastic gent, Matt, come with me to do some training. And as it was training, and Matt, just because of things that were going on, got here a bit late, I never took any B-roll. But the absolute gent, look at this, is from Yorkshire, and it brought us my favourite tea, Yorkshire tea, thank you very much, but then this stuff. What is this? I've never heard about it before. So today, I'm going to be drinking this and let you know what I think. The legend also brought us loads of Costa, so it turns out it is working. Even though I can't get a Costa deal. Come on, Costa. Filming me making coffee at least makes my amazing customers bring it. Thank you. Ding! And here's today's car. A rather nice black BMW Z4. In 4. AMD Tools Protection. And Fabric Roof. So yeah, this is a rather random update vlog, isn't it? I come into the unit as the team are just having a little tea break in there. This week we've got these cool motors in. Look at the exposure on this. What's going on? Is it gonna adjust? I'll be back. There we go, my finger had accidentally rolled the exposure band. So, the Z4, yeah. We didn't get a lot on that either. See, what was happening was usually, I bet you all think I just sit in my office, but usually I assist the team on getting the detailing done. But that week, I was working so hard and getting prepared for the training. I'd already just done training and we had other things going on that basically I was having an admin week as well as the Scooby day before. So the team smashed the Z4. If I've got some little cool finished pictures of stuff, I'll drop some beats in a minute and show you that. But once we go from the Z4, we're then gonna dive into the training. Let's go. So 
here it is. The first Rupes training that we've done here, certified at AM Details. And I wanted to bring a training session to you guys that wasn't just the single day stuff. Now, of course, we can do the single day stuff, which has its market. For me, the single day stuff works great if you're a professional, you're already machining, or you are just looking to get the information that you need in your head so that you can go away and practice that on your own vehicle. Or if you are a professional, then it's just gonna help you understand the tools you're already using or prepare you for using the tools. You can then get them. You already have prior knowledge of what is removing clear coat, etc., etc. You already have prior knowledge of all the dangers of machining a car. And all we're doing is teaching you the system. And that's what we receive as trainers from Rupes are these amazing presentations that work on giving you the core information and the core stuff about the Rupes system, which as you guys know, I think is a phenomenal system designed to work together from ground roots all the way up, machines, polishes and pads. And as much as I know we inspire many professionals, thank you all you guys that send me messages and emails on this. I know that the majority of our viewership, the majority of our customer base are enthusiasts and beginners in the detailing game. Ooh. Nice. So for me, it would make absolutely no sense to have the first thing that we're going to do for beginners be in a one day event. So at AM Details here, we have created the two day training fundamentals course, which takes the Rupes core learning that you would get over the two days, but we've also thrown in our own stuff, which is the basics of what is removing clear coat, the hazards and dangers of machining a car, all the stuff you're going to need to know so that you can learn the Rupes system and how it works. Plus, there is about eight hours and more time on the machine. So that's nearly a full working day on machines. So when you leave here, you actually have the knowledge plus eight hours of physical machine time on cars. It's not just done on bonnets. We actually bring in a car for you to machine so you get to learn about the hazards, the dangers, stuff that's in the way, stuff you may need to tape, situations you're gonna face day to day, a real life course. And that's what the two-day course is. So, of course, the course, I was given the course. So I didn't manage to get much filming, but I did get B-roll every now and again of what was going on once the gentlemen were a bit more relaxed with what they were doing with the Rupes system. So first of all, I want to say thank you so much to Ben, Richard and Craig, who came and joined us on our first training session and gave us the critical feedback that we needed, positive and negative, so that we can refine it for the rest of these courses. Quick little sales pitch before I show you the clips. We've got two more of these courses at this lower rate price of 350 pounds for two days. Two days training for 350 pounds. I'm gonna put a link down below that will take you to a page which shows you all this year's Rupes two day fundamental courses. And you can sign up to them through that system. I'm pretty sure the April one only has one place left on recording this right now and then the July one has four places left. So if you want to go and check out that link and see if you want to sign up the course, then it would be amazing to see you guys here for two days. Learning the Rupes system and getting eight hours plus of machining time so you can really hone in what this is all about. So remember, the next one is in April. I think, as I said, there's about one or two spaces left in it. And the next one is July. You can find them on Facebook or you can find them by going to that link. amdetails.go.uk forward slash Rupes hyphen thing training so that was the thursday and the friday the saturday we managed to get prepared and ready to host the first of our ida cdsv events and what a day it was incredible we had norris barry and rab come and visit us to do their cdsv in a day Barry and Rab are from a body shop environment and they also own a detailing shop. And Norris is the Ceramic Pro Scotland guy who's been training most of the guys up here in Scotland. And they want to take themselves to the next level by joining the IDA. Sorry about that. Telephone. So, we also put Eon through his certified detailer test and he passed. So what do these involve? Well, first of all, certified detailer. I do a presentation here at AM Details and then you right there, if you were to come, would sit 10 exams. They're 10 tick test exams. So each one has between 10 and 19 questions, I think. And they're on 10 different subjects covering paint correction, health and safety, right the way through to interior cleaning and finishing touches. I give that presentation, it's about an hour, two hours, depending on the audience. And it helps to bring you up to standard on what's going on right now 
in the current detailing scene as the IDA see it. It's a bit American at the moment, but here in the UK we are tweaking it so as it fits in with UK terminology and some UK bits and pieces on there as well. After that, I then do the skills validation section, which is where we have a vehicle, a bonnet, a couple of areas. There's four sections to this exam. In each one of those sections, I'm gonna simply ask a question. For example, please demonstrate how you would remove bonded contaminants from this vehicle. And then we have a selection of products on the side. There's the products you could use, and there may be four or five different ways that you could carry out this task. And then of course, there's some dummy products in there. And what I need to do is just watch and assess your product selection choice and you doing that element safely and as what is recognized in the industry or by the IDA standard as the way to do it. Now I have little tick boxes I need to tick. And as long as you get 80% in each one of those four exams, you pass as well and get your skills validation. So it was the first time we did it and we got epic feedback afterwards. I wanna say thank you so much to the guys that came and congratulations again on getting your CD and SV and congratulations Armani on on getting his certified detailer. By the way, would he pass skills validated? Knowledge wise, probably. Application wise, Eon doesn't actually do any correctional machine polishing here, but he does apply AM glaze by machine. So potentially he would pass. But here at AM Details, I have a thing where just because at the moment, there's only me and James that are the UK RTs, I would rather have it that my staff are signed off by another RT. So Eon will have to wait until he can meet another RT. And that way, you guys down the lens here can't be saying, oh, Eon only got his SV because his boss signed him up. Now, I know there are many companies that have their own internal training program, but for me, I would just like someone else to check out my guys and say, hey, Alan, you're training these guys all right. They meet the stand. And there we have it. That was those two weeks that you haven't had any vlogs. Uh, I hope this has caught you up well. I'm really enjoying recording the one that you're seeing right now, which has, uh, well, in the background of this one, where you're seeing me chatting with the Range Rover and the Tiguan in the shop. That one is gonna be a good one, guys. I hope you enjoy it. It will follow next week. I've been doing a lot of podcast appearances. I'm gonna put them down below as well. Go and have a listen, let me know what you think. You guys know I'm desperate to bring you a podcast here at the channel, but just let me finish these last few products. Products, projects, which is, get the labeling sorted on the AM Details range. Finish our car care and training website. Get the training calendar sorted for this year so that you right there can come to our website and find what training we're providing and book it online. We've got that right now, go to that link. amdetails.co.uk forward slash rupin hyphen training will take you, rupes hyphen training, Jeez, oh. Take you to our website where you will see our online calendar scheduler. I want to do one of them for the IDA as well, but we don't manage the IDA payments. So instead, I'll try and put Facebook events in there or down below I will have a link to the IDA events page and you'll see our events going all the way up to September, I think. So they're all on there so you can register and check those out as well. Our email is there, so if you've got any questions, smash the email. Get in touch. I really do like engaging with you guys. Hope you found this update informative. I am going to be back. I promise. We're nearly there. Oh, so, so close. Anyway, guys, it's been an absolute blast delivering this for you. I quite like doing it, actually, looking through the old footage, speaking to you to camera, quite raw like this, and letting you know what's going on. But if you're first time here, then this is going to be a weird vlog for you, as this has been an AM Details catch-up vlog. Go and check out some of the other stuff that's in around here, and check out some of our car care vlogs, our how-tos, and all the other epic stuff that's on there. Thank you so much for watching guys, my name's Alan and welcome to the AM Details YouTube channel where we try and bring you detailing <laughs> and car care related videos every week. Smash the bell so that you get notified every time we drop a video. Plus, oh hello, there's two videos chosen just for you. Ciao.